All right, friends and family. Hi, uh, how's it going? So the other day, I came across a Buddha hand citrus tree, and so I got a couple pieces. I don't know if they're gonna be good, but it looks like a few of the buds are swelling, so there may be a chance. And I thought I'd make a video on how I do citrus bud grafting. So. <clears throat> I usually start off by uh, removing the lower leaves and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an inverted T cut maybe about five inches from up above you don't want the graph to be too low because then it might come into contact with soil which will negate the reason for using a root stock in the first place that is resistant to stuff that is found in the soil so, like uh, gamosis right so you need the graph to be you know 10 centimeters maybe up, up above the soil and then that's, that's like optimal range but it can go higher up as well but the higher up you go the more uh suckers you'll get from the citrus that'll throw off and which will, means that you'll always have to be making sure that the rootstock doesn't overtake the the scion wood so this is a cleopatra mandarin orange which is uh the first time i'm gonna graft with this one but so we'll see how it goes so like i said i usually start off by making an inverted t find a nice spot and hopefully the skin the bark peels off fairly easy that makes the graft that makes doing this graft really easy. Okay, so make an inverted T. The citrus bark is really flexible and fibrous and you can even hear a snap and feel a snap on your knife when you break through the bark. So you can't really see the cut too much. Here it is, is that you see the T Right, and then I using using the knife, you peel back the skin, and this one peels back nice and easy. And you can just open it right up. You can, uh, it's hard hard to see, of course, but you can see how it just opens right up, and it and it is flexible enough that. It doesn't break you. And I tried to do bud grafting with uh, mango. Uh, there was no flexibility in the bark. And once you tried to peel it back, it just kind of snapped. Right. So I wrapped these up to kind of preserve them. But I'm going to peel back the tape so I can see some buds. And, and as you can see that, you know, there is some bud swelling here. But this tree was really flowering and so you know we'll see what happens so there's some buds we'll take them off we'll put them all on so i guess they call also call this shield bud grafting maybe because when you make the cut it kind of looks like a shield so what i do is i find the bud then i just cut it and i try to get a nice thick chunk even some of the wood if you can and then uh then I pinch one side because, like I said, it snaps. So when you cut it, it like f flies across the room if you don't pinch it down, right? And then with that, you get a little shield bud. You have the bud on it. Then I take it and you slip it right into the cut under the bark that you already peeled back. So you should, and if you make it fairly thick then you get it's easier to push up to get it in place and so there you go i don't know if you saw when i was putting it in but there it's in place now and this one is a little thick compared to the stem <clears throat> And then I'll wrap a little bit of paraffin film wax tape 
just to kind of hold it in place or just give a little moisture barrier. And the bud will, will just break right through this tape like nothing. Right. And then I will also use this one and this one. This vinyl tape is a lot stronger. And you can get some stretch on it, put some pressure onto it. Uh, this For this one, I don't really try to cover the bud too much because that's why I usually put the parafilm so I, I can leave the bud exposed a little bit. But the bud won't break for, you know, three weeks minimum, really. So, right, so let's leave the, uh, the opening a little bit open. Get it nice and tight, and then once you get it to this point, I'll just I'll just leave it right like this for 21 days. So I mark my calendar, 21 days. <clears throat> then I'll open them up, peel them all back, and if it's still green, then there's a good chance that it's gonna pop up. So and then if it's black and done, then it's done, right? So you can put them back into its pile, uh, into the rootstock pile. And the uh, ones that are still green, you keep them out of the sun. Like keep them out of the sun and uh, don't get too much water on them yet. I, I water the plant. I always, whenever I do a graft, I always uh, restrict water for at least four days. So it's, it's uh, good to have a nice uh, soil mix that can hold water and water before you graft. And then uh, I then I like to water stress it for a few days before I start to water regularly again. I keep it out of the rain, keep it out of the sun until we have bud break, you know, and then it goes into the shade house. And that is the citrus grafting. I don't know if you guys saw because I was doing a lot of work off camera, but maybe you did. Aloha.